Hello, I'm Sarah Santosh and welcome to Southall TV News Roundup. In international news, the Hungarian Prime Minister has said that Europe's borders have been threatened by migration. This week saw the start of intense diplomatic activity on the crises. Ministers from Poland, Hungary, the Czech Republic and Slovakia met to discuss the European proposals for resettling the migrants which they oppose. EU interior ministers have since approved plans to relocate 120,000 migrants across the continent over the next two years. Germany and France are among those who afford the plans to share the burden of relocating the migrants from Greece, Italy and Hungary. Viktor Orban, the Hungarian Prime Minister, said that the migrants are overrunning us. They're not just banging on the door, they're breaking the doors down on top of us. Our borders are under threat. Hungary is under threat and so is the whole of Europe. In other news, Volkswagen said that 11 million vehicles worldwide are involved in the scandal that has come to light regarding the rigging of the US car emission tests. £4.7 billion has been set aside to cover the cost of the scandal. Volkswagen shares fell more than 18% this week after US regulators found that some of the cars could manipulate official emission tests. Specific software in several diesel cars could be to blame in deceiving regulators. The car manufacturer was ordered to recall half a million cars in the US last week. Volkswagen could face fines totaling billions of dollars for what has been seen as criminal activities. In national news, charities could be banned from certain forms of fundraising, including cold calling and mail shots, if they break specific rules. A review commissioned by the government proposed the creation of a register which will allow people to opt out of all contact by the charity. Concerns have become apparent about aggressive tactics that have been used to fundraise with a focus on targeting vulnerable people. Sir Stuart Etherington from the National Council for Voluntary Organisations who led the review was quoted as saying, We have to make sure that we restore public confidence in charity. Not all charities behave in this manner. Indeed, I suspect it was very few, but we've got to tackle those problems. Otherwise, I think the charity brand, if you like, will be damaged. Among the recommendations, a new regulator, provisionally called the Fundraising Regulator, would have control over the rules governing how charities are allowed to operate. In further news, a mother has admitted falsely claiming that a Primark security guard removed her baby while she was breastfeeding and ordered her out of the store. Caroline Stummer appeared at the Crown Court in Leicester where she pleaded guilty to a charge of intent to pervert the course of justice. The defendant claimed that the security guard forcefully removed the child and walked down the store with the baby, stating if she wanted her daughter back, then she would have to come and get her. Leicester police investigated her claims, but no evidence could be found to validate her story, and instead the mother was charged. In local news, Dormers Wells Leisure Centre in Ealing will be launching a series of free exercise classes for women this October. The initiative is an extension of Better's ongoing commitment to provide women-only sport and leisure through its existing in-house For the Girls scheme. Anna Larson-Murray, group exercise lead at Dormers Wells Leisure Centre, explains, Women can face a lot of barriers when it comes to exercising and sometimes need a little encouragement. The aim of these courses is to break down these barriers and give women the chance to try something new. At Better, we work to make living a healthy lifestyle accessible to everyone and these classes will be a great way of boosting participants' confidence and general fitness. To book, you can visit Dormers Wells Leisure Centre and speak to a member of staff. In other news, national sports charity Tennis for Free has invested in a 50-week programme of free tennis lessons, hoping hundreds of people will join in at Elfham Park's tennis courts. Local professional tennis coach Matt Cataway will be managing the scheme and he said, I'm really happy to involve with this brand new project that is backed by both Ealing Council and Tennis for Free. The courts in Elfham Park have been underused in the past and I hope to be able to provide the community opportunities to become more active through playing tennis. 
You can register for Tennis for Free at Elfin Park online at www.tennisatcataway.com or for further information on Tennis for Free, visit www.tennisforfree.com. We apologise that there will be no political analysis this week. So that's it for now. I'm Sarah Santosh. Thank you for watching Southall TV News Roundup. I shall be back next week with more news.